Okay, so the homework today is to try to make a uh, pipetter using NURBS surfaces. Okay, so I'm gonna try to make something like that. So let's start by making a NURBS circle here in the center and look at that from the top. Let's create something that looks a little bit more like the a cross section of a uh, pipetter grip. So this is kind of two rounds. I'm gonna go um, right mouse button clicking and dragging to control vertex and now select a few vertices that we can move around maybe scaling in a little bit here or something like this maybe a little bit more See how how I'm sort of modeling the cross section here by playing around with the curved points, and uh, yeah, I think that's good enough. And then let's go to the perspective view and right mouse button, click and drag to object mode. Select these the circle, and now I'm going to create uh, the basic shapes for to make a loft. So I'm going to create duplicates of this so control D create a new duplicate and I'm gonna go ahead and make six duplicates actually and I'm gonna move them up in order so I'm gonna keep circle one in the bottom and two above and then three four five Okay, so what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna try to make the uppermost and lowermost circle be kind of close to the next one in line. So the loft is gonna go from circle one to six, that's why I'm putting them in this order. So now I'm gonna pick the top and the bottom one. Uh, I'll switch to the top view to get a better view and I'm going to scale it in like that and let's go to perspective view again ah. I think we can try it, try to make the loft now uh, so you have surfaces selected here surfaces loft press 5 to get the shaded view and you should get a smooth smooth nerves shape like this okay so i'm gonna go ahead and select these two circles because huh, i want to make it a little bit more slender so something like this maybe and then move So this could be something like the pipetter grip. And now I'm going to go ahead and actually I think I'll hide all of these circles here. So control H to hide them. And this is our nerve surface for the grip. And I want to put a lid on here. So I right mouse button click and drag to isoparm. Select the topmost isoparm and go to surfaces planar. Oh, beautiful. And then do the same thing in the bottom. Okay, so now let's go ahead and look in the side view. And I'm going to create uh, the barrel. Uh, the, the ejector using uh, using revolves. So I'm going to draw it around the axis here. So 
is using the CV curve tool. Creating this beautiful rounded shape. Pressing enter. Oh, isn't that amazing? And then curve. Uh, let's go to right mouse button click control vertex. Uh, I'm not entirely satisfied here, so I'm gonna play around a little bit with these points. Okay, so go to object mode. So right, right mouse button click and drag to object mode. And then I'm gonna go to surfaces, revolve. And there you have the, the ejector. Okay, so now it's not really a position. Actually, it looks kind of big. So I'm going to scale it down a little bit. And then move it up again. And <coughs> I think I want to have it over here. So let's drag it like, like this. Okay, so, and now let's create uh, the tip of the pipette using a CV curve. So I'm going to go to the side view again. And now I'm going to go and uh, actually let's move the entire thing back to the center so that the aspirator or the the thing whatever it's called it's actually in the center here and then I can just draw my tip going down here right in the center which is good because then when I draw the CV curve so CV curve tool here we'll go to create CV curve tool and then oops and then if I press X on my keyboard I will end up directly on these lattice points. So I'll get a very straight curve, which is exactly what I want. Press enter. Okay, now we have this curve. And if we go to the perspective view, let's create a, a circle. Select the circle, which is your um, section that you want to extrude along this curve and then go to surfaces extrude and make sure you have uh, position at path pivot closest endpoint orientation profile normal here and then extrude and then we'll get this very nice looking uh, cylinder sticking down just along the path that we created okay so Actually, it's kind of big, so let's scale this thing until we get something that we're happy with. Let's make a little bit bigger here. And now I can actually go in, I press F on my keyboard to frame the cylinder. And then I'm going to go in and right mouse button click into control vertex. And I think I'm going to scale these things in a little bit. Scaling here. There you go. Right mouse and click, object mode. Okay, here's our pipette. Of course, I have to group this to make this a pipette. So select all the objects, Control G, create a group, name it pipe. Okay.